Hello, this is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of how you can use Calendar and Google Meet to create a live stream option for morning announcements. So the first step is you will want to go to your Google Calendar and you will want to set an appointment. So let's say we're going to start morning announcements when school begins starting on the 16th for us in East Bridgewater. So I'm going to click on the 16th and I like to use this more options and for this it's going to be more appropriate. So we're going to click more options right here. Once we're in more options, I'm going to type morning announcements. I'm going to remove all day and I'm going to set the time that my morning announcements will take place. Now I'm going to choose this drop down right here that says does not repeat. And I'm going to have this repeat every weekday, Monday to Friday. Next, I'm going to add my Google Meet link. However, it's very important that I choose the live stream option. And this is only available in Google Enterprise Edition, which we do have. I'm going to click Add Google Meet for video conferencing. And in this drop down, I'm going to choose it, the View Conference Details drop down arrow right here. And I'm going to click Add Live Stream. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is because I know I'm going to invite my entire school community to view the morning announcements, which is over 250 participants. So I know my meeting will cap at 250, and I want to invite my entire school community to watch this. When I add the live stream, I can now have 100,000 people viewing my morning announcements that are in the domain. So this is only available to student and staff accounts to view as the live stream. So I'm going to click add live stream and notice it's going to tell me that I will have a reset. Adding the live stream will reset the settings for the video call. I know that and I still want to have that. So I'm going to add the live stream. And now I get some information down here and you can take a look. It is a view only event. No one can comment during the morning announcements and no one can speak during the morning announcements except the person who is running the Google Meet. Now this is the link right here that you're going to copy and send to people. If you wanted another staff member in the Google Meet with you, to also speak from their computer, you could give them this meeting ID and they will join the Google Meet with you. And that is an option. However, for live streams, so you have one large um, screen with one speaker, I do recommend just having the meeting owner live stream. So you're gonna copy that live stream link. And this is the link that can go out to all staff members and students. You can put it as a static link in Google Classroom. It will be the same link every day that they will join for the live stream. So now I'm going to hit save. And notice this went on my calendar for the entire year. You can see morning announcements every day. And if I click on this, you can see it's the same live stream link. Look at those characters. It's the same live stream link every day. So when I'm ready to begin my morning announcements, I will go to my calendar. I will click morning announcements and I will join with the Google Meet because I am the meeting owner. Hello. And important to know, if you don't want them to see your face for morning announcements, you can turn the video off and just have your voice. So we are going to keep this on and we're going to click join now. So the meeting owner that provided the live stream link does need to start the meeting first. So I'm going to click join now. And notice it's going to ask me right up at the top that this is going to be streamed and I'm going to click start streaming. And no one can watch the stream of this meeting until I start the stream as the meeting owner. So now it shows me I'm live. I'm streaming my morning announcements. My audience can click that link that I provided, the stream link, and watch the morning announcements. 
And if I had a co-teacher that I wanted in with me or um, someone that I will switch back and forth with on those morning announcements, I would actually invite them into the calendar in the invite people so they can also join and stream the meeting. Um, once you have this running, it is important. We tested this here in the East Bridgewater offices and there was about a 30 second delay from when I'm speaking to when the person who is watching the stream heard my voice. And the same thing when I end this meeting. When I end this meeting here, it's about a 30 second delay for that person ending the meeting. So I'm still talking and you could still see me on my webcam even though I think the meeting is done. So just be aware there is a 30 second delay on that meeting from when you end it to when the person watching it gets to the end of the meeting or a possible 30 second delay. There was one here in East Bridgewater today when we tried this. So that is a way to invite more than 250 guests to your meet for announcements. It is a way to have your meeting streamed, providing that stream link so you don't have anyone um, chatting or adding in comments. Um, they can just watch the announcements and you can invite up to 100,000 users to watch that live stream that are in your domain. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Reach out with any questions you may have.